gunmen ambushed and killed a gara of Chanchanji, His Royal Highness Tanimu Gumpia and his son Yusuf on Friday in Takum Chachanji Road in Taraba State. The incident occurred when the traditional ruler and his son were returning from a funeral event. Governor Abu Kev has confirmed the incident and directed law enforcement agencies to bring the perpetrators to justice. The governor expressed condolences to the bereaved family, the Chachanji community, and the entire people of Takum. Chief Cultural and Social Association President General Chief James Baka condemned the killings and called on the government and security agencies to investigate and bring the perpetrators to justice. Baka urged everyone to remain calm and allow security agencies carry out their responsibilities effectively. And Yondo State has seen a tragic incident where two passengers were killed and five others, including a female co member, were abducted by 15 suspected gunmen. The incident occurred on a black Saturday in the Osei local government council of the state. The bandits, armed with AK-47 rifles, ambushed the commuters at Omi Alafa village in the Ifon community. Witnesses reported their attack to police detectives in Ifon. The commercial vehicle was coming from Anambra state with passengers heading to Owo and Akure. The corpses of the passengers have been deposited at a private hospital in Ifon. Police spokesperson Fumi Odunlami confirmed the incident and stated that their men are working to rescue the kidnapped victims. Stakeholders in Nigeria gathered in Abuja to discuss violence, injustices and criminality patterns. The International Alert, a non-governmental organization, organized a two-day workshop in collaboration with the Borana State Government to find solutions to insecurity among various communities, religious and ethnic groups. The event aimed to restore peace and prosperity among various tribes, religious bodies and interest groups. Working in silos is actually counterproductive. It's always good to establish peer learning opportunities like this, where we all together assess the drivers of injustice, violence, and uh, insecurity across the country. Uh, we know that these three variables, these three themes of violence, injustice, and criminality is actually an intractable problem that we are grappling with in Nigeria. Whatever region you look at is grappling with these three themes. So we carefully selected these themes as something that cuts across the whole country, that affects all of us. And so the meeting will aim to identify solutions to these issues. And part of those solutions is establishing exit pathways. Exit meaning that what are the ways out of these three teething problems that we are facing in Nigeria. Whether you talk about amnesties or you talk about using a kinetic or non-kinetic approach, or actually increasing access to justice in communities whose rights have been violated, all these different approaches are being tested in the different geopolitical zones. I want to pull all these ideas together. Baroness State uh, Honorable Commissioner Professor Usman Ta plans to establish Northeast Security Commissioners and Advisors with international alerts, approval, citing credibility and sincerity in addressing insecurity issues. The international alert is a credible entity. We don't jump at uh, offer from uh, entities to you know, co-sponsor or you know, collaborate on uh, projects. So you know, we have confidence in the international alert. We are talking as a partner. And the international alert has, you know, the, you know the, we say we sat down and we discussed and we looked at the pros and cons of the proposal and we are happy to collaborate. Media is, you know, is still uh, trapped in the old narrative of Borno, being the home of insurgency, you know, some of our local governments under insurgency. All this has, has changed. Uh, the, our 27 local governments are fully controlled by the federal forces. Uh, there is free dome of movement and there is transportation is booming, agriculture is booming, education is booming, everything is working. So there is no reason for them not to report to Borno for what it is. Do not under-report Borno. Report it accurately. Stakeholders commend the organization's effort in addressing violence, injustices and criminality in Nigeria with the High Commission of Canada focusing on empowering women and girls. 
because you have these important discussions today uh, and consider the different exit pathways from injustice, from violence, uh, from criminality, uh, we also would uh, encourage you to keep in mind as well the experiences of women and girls uh, and the value of their empowerment when it comes to key efforts for tackling insecurity. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.